was the most hated superhero in a town that banned all heroes. The evil mayor convinced everyone that superheroes were bad. But you won't believe what he was really hiding. Help! Help! Someone save me! Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Who are you? I'm Hopewing. I'm here to save you. No, just leave me alone. I'm waiting for the fire department. This is their jurisdiction. Yeah, but I'm a superhero. I can just fly you out of here. This building is burning down. Please, come with me. Why don't you just let the real heroes do their job? What? I'm I'm offering to save your life. Well, I don't want you to. Just let the fire department handle it. Go! Hey, what's going on? This building's burning down. Help! Help! That superhero's trying to kidnap me! What? No! I'm just trying to save you! Hey, ma'am, back away. Ugh, I'm out of here. viewers at Channel 7 News, we have an exclusive interview with the mayor. Mayor, how are you doing today? Well, Cindy, I'm not doing well. We heard that there was a fire going on in an apartment building. Do you care to speak about that? Yes, of course. These superheroes are becoming a huge problem. Do you think that a superhero caused today's issue? Without a doubt, Cindy. In fact, I think a specific superhero caused today's fire. And who would that be? Well, that would be Hopewing. Opwing was found on the scene of the crime, and without a doubt caused the fire himself. What? That's a complete lie! And this is the fifth reported incident that Hopewing has been at the scene of the crime. That's correct, yes. This is becoming a huge problem, and if we don't do something about it, these superheroes could take control of the city and take everyone down with it. I just don't understand why people hate me so much. All I want to do is save this town. I have these powers, and I need to use them for good. What is going on outside? There's that idiot Hopewing! Boo! Get out of town, you loser! Nobody wants you here. Superheroes are stupid. So really, this is what it's come down to now? You just want me to go away? Well, fine. You'll never see me again. Great job with the building on fire. That was genius. We were all over the news, did you see? Yes, I saw. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, it was a great job, but I think we need something even crazier to happen so people can rely on me to fix it. I've definitely been getting a lot of attention, but I need something even more. I need the whole town to pay attention to me. Oh, so now you're telling me what to do. No, no, of course not. I'm just saying that we could step it up a bit, you know? Do not worry. My plan is in motion and everything is going perfectly. Yes, I just want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth. Do not worry, my friend. You will get what you pay for. In fact, I have new plan that is in place. You should have new problem to fix in about five minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, the West Street Bridge is collapsing! What? Yeah, we're getting reports that it just completely collapsed! It like blew up or something! Don't worry, I'll get this handled. Oh man, I forgot how cold it is up here. I hate to do this, but I really don't have a choice. I can't stay in town, not with people acting like that. It's gonna take a long time, but I have to prove myself to the people of the town. That way they can trust me again. And being here just brings back a lot of memories back when we were real heroes. Thank goodness we were able to save that bus full of children. I know, it was about to fall off that bridge. We were there just in time. Oh no, someone else needs our help. All right, let's go. Oh no, I forgot about these. I've got to get out of here before the base caves in. Oh, whew, that was so close. Maybe this is a sign. The old days are gone. I think I should just give up being a hero forever. The world doesn't need superheroes anymore. Citizens of this city, I pledge to you today that I will save this town the way it's supposed to be. The old fashioned way with firefighters, and police officers, and me, your mayor, protecting you the way that it should be. Not with these freaks calling themselves superheroes getting in the way. 
will rid the town of these superheroes. And I, as your mayor, will return this town to the way it used to be. Anyone who is seen looking like a superhero or a villain in any way will be arrested immediately. They shouldn't be allowed to roam these streets. So I urge every superhero to turn themselves in or face my wrath. Oh, will then arrest me, Mayor? Ha <laughs> ha What are you doing here? This isn't part of the plan. Will is part of my plan. Ha 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 Well, I guess this is it. I had to throw away my costume. I, I just couldn't look at it anymore. The good days of when superheroes were going around saving the world are completely done. I guess it's best that I fly under the radar for now. No, stay away. Somebody help me. Oh no, someone's in trouble. No, go away. Where's my mom? Just give me all your money. Ow! Are you okay? Whoa, thanks. Yeah, of course, no problem. Wait, aren't you Hopewing? I uh, just don't know what you're talking about. You're definitely Hopewing. Oh, you're the coolest superhero ever. I even made an action figure of you made out of clay. What, really? I thought people didn't like superheroes anymore. Well, I do, and I hope you always stay a superhero forever. That's really sweet, kid, but I don't know. I don't think everyone else is thinking that way right now. Come on, you're the best superhero ever. Don't listen to what other people say. Listen to yourself. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, my mom is making chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna go. Bye! Oh my gosh, Brent, is that you? Kyle? No way, man, how are you? I'm doing fine, how are you? I'm doing all right, man, it's good to see you again. I haven't really seen you since, uh, you know, we put an end to the team. Yeah, man, it's been a while. Things have really changed since then. Considering everybody now hates us for who we are, no one really appreciates heroes anymore. Yeah, I know. Saving people has become a lot harder since everyone basically turned on us. Yeah, things have certainly changed. But I saved this kid earlier today. He was getting robbed, and I couldn't help but think I was doing the right thing, you know? No, I know exactly what you mean. I'm actually going out tonight to stop a crime that I've been investigating if you wanted to tag along, you know? Just like old times. Wait, really? I thought you quit being Snow Arrow. I did for a bit, but then I started to miss the old days. So I've just been laying low. But I could really use Hopewing's help on this one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can always count on me, dude. I'm ready to get back into action. Great. I knew you were the hero I could count on. Snow Arrow, I don't see anybody. What are we doing here? They should be here any minute. Just wait. Mm, I don't know. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Ow! Snow Arrow, what, what are you doing? I'm gonna turn you in. That's what I'm doing. What? What are you talking about? All heroes are villains, and I'll stop all of them. Snow Arrow, what is wrong with you? Don't you hear what you're saying? Of course I hear what I'm saying. I mean, look at you, running around, setting a fire to that building. It's gotten out of control, and someone needed to do something about it. Snow Arrow, that wasn't me. I wouldn't do that. You know me. I'm your friend. I don't know what to believe anymore. Everything's different now, and I needed to step in and do what I think is right. You need to stop doing this. We're good friends. We were good friends. But that's all over now. Everything is different now. I'm going to turn you in. Ah! Oh! I'm sorry, Snow Arrow. I, I had to do this. Kyle? Uh, Kyle, stop! Cindy, what are you doing here? Can I get an interview with you? You know, Hope Wing. Really? You want to interview your ex-boyfriend? I thought you said you never wanted to talk to me again. 
<laughs> Look, this is just an interview, strictly professional, all right? Go ahead and smile, and the camera's gonna turn on in three, two, one. Hello, Channel 7, I am here with an exclusive interview with Hope Wing. So, Hope Wing, what are your opinions on the reach and controversies around superheroes? Well, Cindy, I'm, I don't really understand it, to be honest. Hey, it's you, that Hope Wing person. Oh, you're absolutely horrible. What, what are you talking about? When my building was on fire just a week ago, this guy left me there. What? No, I went in to save you and you told me to leave you alone. Ugh, all superheroes are the same. You're always right. Is this true, Hope Wing? Did you really leave a poor citizen on the roof by yourself while it was burning? No, absolutely not. I would never do that. You heard it here first, folks. Hope Wing left a girl on the rooftop with the fire going. He's a villain, I tell you. He's the worst superhero ever. No, I, this is not how this was supposed to be. Cindy, why would you do this to me? Sorry, kid, this is all for the story. I can't believe you would hurt me like this. Well, I guess I could hide here for a while. Oh man, this place is a mess. That angry crowd must have broken in and destroyed my home. I can't believe people are so mean enough to do something like this, especially to somebody that wants nothing to do than save them I feel like a complete loser now like i have nothing hope wing used to be my purpose my way to keep going and now i just feel useless a breaking discovery the mayor has just issued a lifted ban on villains roaming the city what what is going on citizens of this beautiful city villains are needed to prove that humans are strong and that we don't need superheroes to stop them we were strong before them and we are strong now what this this doesn't make any sense heroes are the real enemies here not the villains this mayor is completely out of control and i have to stop him but i can't do this alone i'm gonna need some help I don't really have anybody else to turn to. All right, here goes nothing. Kyle, what are you doing? First off, I'm really hurt by what you did earlier, twisting that story on the news. Well, I did it because it was the truth. I'm not an awful person, Cindy. Oh, really? Well, you were a bad boyfriend. You never had time for me ever. It was just superhero this, superhero that. What was I supposed to do? Listen, I know it was difficult, but I had to go out and save people. That's part of the job of being a hero. I saved your life a couple times, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and I appreciate it at the time, but it's over now. Look, there are people hunting you down. You probably shouldn't be here. Listen, Cindy, something is going on, okay? I, I need your help. That's why I came here in the first place. Oh, you need my help. You weren't acting so nice to me earlier. What? When was I not nice to you? During the interview I was giving you earlier. What? You weren't being nice to me. You turned that whole story against me, Cindy. People listen to what you say, all right? And I need you to tell people that heroes aren't bad. Listen, I don't care. To be honest, I knew you were going to come here. That's why I called them. Who did you call, Cindy? Ow! Oh, man, my head is killing me. What, what is going on here? Hello? Who's doing this? Where are you? Show yourself! Hope Wing, we finally meet face to face. Well, if it isn't the mayor, what do you want? Why are you causing all of this destruction? Why are you turning everybody against heroes? Well, isn't it obvious? I want to get reelected. And I can't do that if people are putting all their trust in these superheroes. I need them to trust me. You are the most untrustworthy person imaginable. Heroes are there to save people. Heroes are here to take all the fame and glory and leave only destruction behind. So what, you were behind everything? All of this is for your greed and your desire for power, fame and glory? Yes, of course. It's all me. Impossible. I know there's somebody else behind this. There's no way you can do this on your own. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because I've got you now. I don't think so. Oh. Wait, what? What is going on? You're right. I'm not the only person behind this. 
My boss would like to meet you. Alright, this is where that robot mayor said to meet this guy. But where is he? And more importantly, who is he? Boy, oh, thank you for meeting me here. <laughs> who are you? I am the strongest, most handsome, most rich man in all of Roblox. Wait a second. It's you. Oh, yes. Your memory come back now, yes? You're you're the one that gave me these powers. <laughs> yes, you were worst experiment. Such disappointment. I had all hope to make you the most evil villain alongside me. But your compassion is your undoing. You and I are not the same. No, we're not. And now it is time to say goodbye to your powers. I don't think so. You're not going to stop me. And you're not going to stop any of the other heroes. We're here to protect people and fight for justice and righteousness. I'm never going to turn my back on the people of this town no matter what. You can try all you want to turn them against me, but that's not going to change anything. And I'm going to stop you. <laughs> you will try. You will fight. Fail. I don't think so. Oh! You can try and defeat me all you want. The people will hate you no matter what. My agents are everywhere, and you have no chance of stopping me. I don't care if the people of this town don't like me anymore. It's not about being liked. It's about doing what's right, and that is stopping you. Yes, ma'am, what's wrong? Doctor, my baby just got kidnapped. Uh, he was just right here and then somebody came in and grabbed him. Please, please help me. <laughs> oh, that was too easy, too easy. <laughs> hey, get back here. I need to find a way to get rid of these stupid meddling cops. Try and catch me. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh boy, oh no. <laughs> Stupid cops. They couldn't catch a paper bag. <laughs> oh, I know this is the right child. I can sense it. His power is incredible. He's going to be the strongest supervillain around. My plan is working perfectly. I can't believe I failed. My dad asked me to do a simple robbery and I failed. Hey you, get back here. I gotta get out of here. Oh man, he's gonna be so angry. Uh, hey dad. Benjamin, why did you fail me? I, I did my best, but a security guard showed up and I wasn't expecting him to be there. And so I had to fly away. I didn't want to get caught. I swear, you are the worst supervillain I could have possibly imagine. It was a simple robbery, Benjamin. I used to do them when I was 10. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but maybe I'm just not cut out to be a supervillain. Now that is not true. You are the son of Dark Mist, the most powerful supervillain around. You were made to do this. You just need to keep trying. Yeah, maybe you're right, but I don't know. Why do you doubt yourself so much, Ben? I believe in you. You can do this. I know. I know you believe in me, and I'm, I'm so grateful that I have such a caring and understanding father. But if I can't do a simple robbery, how am I supposed to be the greatest supervillain out there? You are just wrapped in your head. You need to clear your mind. Go get some fresh air, and then we can get back to your training. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good idea. I just need to clear my head. Why can't I do this? Dad said that I was born to do this, but it just doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm never gonna be a good supervillain. I mean, it comes so easily to Dad. He's a natural at it. But why doesn't it come easily to me? I'm just always gonna be a disappointment to him. I don't think I'll ever be able to live up to his expectations. And that's the last thing I want. Help! Help! Can someone help me? What? What's going on? Help! Help! Someone help me! Shut up, lady! Empty your purse right now! Is anyone there? Please! Someone help me! 
You just saved me. Thank you so much. You're like a hero. Uh, what? No, no, I'm not a hero. Well, you're a hero to me. Whoa, that was kind of easy. But I'm not a hero. I, I'm a super villain. I'm supposed to be causing crimes, not stopping them. But I felt like that was an instinct or something. I didn't even think twice. I just flew over there and saved her. Man, this is weird. I don't know what to do. All I know is if my dad found out about this, he would not be happy. I don't know if I should tell my dad what happened today. He's gonna be really disappointed if he finds out, but he's gonna be really mad if I keep it from him. Uh, either way, it's gonna be bad. Oh, there he is. Wait, what's he doing? I don't know what else to do. He's got so much training in him. He has incredible powers. He has so much potential. He needs to be a villain. Yes, but he's not even your real son. You kidnapped him as a baby and raised him as your own. He's not your child. I don't know why you would even do this to begin with. Children are disgusting. I could sense his power and knew he was going to be an incredible villain. So I had to take him was part of my plan. But you don't even care about him. He's just a tool to cause chaos and destruction. <laughs> I can't believe this. He's not even my real dad, and he's never cared about me. He's just using me. Who even am I? If he's not my real dad, then who's my real family? I need to get to the bottom of this. Emotions are weak and pathetic. If the child cannot be a villain, you must get rid of him. He's nothing but a waste of space and time. Absolutely not. I don't care if he's my real son or not. I care for him, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure he has the best life possible. There has to be more information about my kidnapping here at the library. I could find like a newspaper clipping or something. They have archives of everything here. All right, I just have to look up missing child cases. Okay, well, let me put my birth date in and see if anything comes up. Oh my gosh, it is true. I was kidnapped. I can't believe it. Let's see if I can find an address for my real parents. Here it is, and they live in town. I gotta go talk to them. Oh man, what do I say? I mean, how do you walk up to a complete stranger and tell them that you're their long lost son? But I have to, I have to know. Dark Mist has been lying to me my entire life and I need to know the truth. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, hello? Hi, uh, are, are you Samantha? Um, yeah, I am, uh... Who are you? Uh, well, I don't really know how to say this, but I'm your son. Wait, it really is you. You you have your father's eyes. I, I can't believe it. After all this time we spent searching for you, you're just here. Quick, come in. Welcome home. All right, that should be everything. I'm going to get out of here and I'm never coming back. I don't even want to talk to Dark Miss. I don't want to see him. I want nothing to do with him. I got my stuff and that's it. I'm out of here. Son, what are you doing? What, what's that bag for? I'm leaving. You're leaving? Where are you going? Do you have some trip or something planned? No, I found out everything about the kidnapping. Well, you found out what? What? No, what are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't believe you're playing dumb right now. You're not even my real father and you've been lying to me this entire time. Ben, Ben, wait, wait, I can explain everything. Yeah, well, I don't want you to. I don't care about you, just like you don't care about me. Benjamin, wait. Just shut up, leave me alone. I don't ever want to see you again. Benjamin, wait, wait, stop. No, this is a mess. How did he find out? Oh, I need to fix this and I need to fix it fast. I have to come up with a plan. I need to get Ben back. Well, Ben, this is your room. We kept it this way just in case you came back to us. Wow, thank you for everything. 
This room is so nice. Yeah, we just wanted to keep it together just in case you decided to come back and we even added some cool toys and kept switching out the laundry every few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, honey, he's a man now. He doesn't need any toys. Look at how big and strong he's grown. This is all so amazing. Thank you so much. I can't believe you guys never stopped searching for me. We knew that you were out there somewhere and that one day we would be reunited as a family once more. We went city after city, but we're just so glad that you're here now. It's so nice to finally be back with my real family. Hey, by the way, a uh, random question, but... Are you guys superheroes too? Uh, superheroes? Uh, no, we're both ordinary people. Okay, because I have superpowers, and you're my real family, so I assume that I got them from you. Yeah, no, we're both normal, but that's actually really comforting to hear because my father was a superhero. I knew it! I knew I had superhero blood in me! This is so much to take in right now. We just know you're destined for great things. Yeah. I knew it too. Yeah, well, I'm sure you've been through a lot of craziness today, so why don't you go to sleep and we'll talk tomorrow, okay? Okay, sounds good. Good night. There is no way you're going to keep my son. <laughs> you're coming with me. <sighs> that was really refreshing. I had a great night's sleep. I haven't slept like that in years. Maybe mom and dad are awake. M mom? Dad? W where are you guys? Oh no. W where are they? What do I do? Did they just leave without me? Oh no, what if they abandoned me? What if I wasn't good enough? They'd been searching for me for so long. What if they had high expectations of me and I didn't meet them? Oh no, I'm a complete failure. You're not a failure, Ben. Your parents failed you. It's true. They just completely left you here, all alone. Dark Mist, what are you doing here? I came to check on you and see if you were okay. Yeah, right. I can't trust you. I care about you so much. I raised you since you were a baby. You are my child. I took you from those parents because I knew that they wouldn't be able to care for you. You are super, and they're normal humans. They have no idea what it takes to raise a child with gifts like yours. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe they left because I have superpowers, and they think I'm a freak. Listen, you're not a freak, Ben. You are incredible. Just come home with me. Let's go back to the base so everything can be normal again. Just come home, son. I love you. Okay. I love you too, Dad. I can't believe my real parents just abandoned me. I should have listened to Dark Mist. I guess he was right all along. He took me in and raised me as his own son. That takes a lot. If my real parents can't accept me, that's their fault, not mine. Honestly, I'm just glad to be home. So, uh, what are we supposed to do with these two? I mean, the boss just brought them back last night. I don't know. Probably just keep him in the cell, like he said. Are these really that kid's parents? I mean, Dark Mist kidnapped his own son's parents? Wow, that man is evil. Shut up, you don't understand. It's just the boss. It's his own mentality. You don't understand. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe that's why we're just a couple goons. Just don't let those two escape, okay? We don't want the boss man to find out. He has my parents in a cell? He took them? Hey! You two! Oh, uh, uh Ben! Uh, hey, little guy! How's it going? Uh... Shut up! I heard everything. Where are my parents? First of all, that was rude. Secondly, we're not gonna tell you. Yeah, boss's orders! Um, are you forgetting that I have literal superpowers? Uh, no, no, we, we didn't forget! So then you're gonna tell me where my parents are being held. Uh, <laughs> they're down the corridor to the left! Just, just don't hurt us, please! Great. Thanks, guys. Mom! Dad! Ben? What are you doing here? I'm here to get you out. I'm so sorry for getting you into all of this. Don't worry about any of that right now, son. Everything will be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right. I gotta get you out of here. Benjamin, stop! Please, don't go! No! I can't believe you do this! I can't believe you lied to me again! You kidnapped my parents! 
You really are just an awful evil villain. Benjamin, I'm I'm sorry, okay? I'm I'm sorry. All I wanted to do was be a good father to you. I didn't I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, well, all you've ever done is just lie to me. Do you have any idea how much that hurts? I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to be like this. You mean the world to me. I love you so, so much. Well, if you really do love me, then you'll let me go. You'll let me be with my real parents. But I'm your father. I, I can't just let you go. They did not raise you as a child. I did. I did everything for you. Listen. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice, but I have to do this. Oh! Benjamin, I'm sorry. You're right. And if this is what you want, I have to let you go. Just let me choose my own destiny. Okay, Max, it's time to make a decision. Hmm. Do you want the cold ranch or the cheddar blast? Uh, I don't know which one I want. I can only afford one. Hey you, put your hands up and give me all your money. What? This is a robbery, idiot. Give me your money. Okay, sure. I, oh, oh no. There's some kind of superhero behind you. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> thief, take that. Ow, oh, oh. That's what you get, thief. I'm gonna call the cops and make sure you get arrested. Oh, oh who even are you? I'm the Bolt. Defender of justice in Brookhaven, and don't you forget it. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I have to bolt. Well, Max, you did it. You made yourself your very first sandwich. I know it doesn't seem like a really big accomplishment, but this looks really good. I'm so hungry. Whoa, dude, that sandwich looks like trash <laughs> oh what do you want nathan oh nothing i just came to see my best friend hey how's it going nathan we're not friends you pick on me every single day well yeah i mean look at you you got your stupid braces you got your ugly glasses you're a total nerd everybody in this school hates you so you keep telling me every single day yeah i am gonna tell you every single day because you deserve to hear it no one likes you you're stupid and everyone hates you. Cool. Thanks, Nathan. Hey, you know what, man? I'm starting to feel a little hungry. Maybe I should just take this sandwich. <laughs> Nathan, stop! Get back here! Oh, man. I can't believe he stole my sandwich. I just wish I could use my powers to teach him a lesson. But no. Max, you can't do that. You have to follow the superhero code. You can't reveal your secret identity to anyone because it could mean problems. Okay. It's fine. Maybe I'll just go home and have a big dinner, that's all. Help, help, someone please help me. Shut up and give me all your money. Oh my gosh, that's Rosemary. I think she's in trouble. I've gotta do something, I've gotta save her. I can't save her looking like this. All right, this way she won't know who I am. What's taking so long? Give me your money. Please, please, I don't have any money. Please, someone help. Hey, leave her alone. <laughs> who do you think you are? The guy that's gonna do this. Ow, ow. Are you okay, miss? Oh, wow, I think so. Thank you so much, you saved me. Of course, I'm just glad you're okay. Wow, how can I ever repay you? I don't even know who you are. Oh, I'm, um, the, the Bolt. Yeah, I'm the Bolt, superhero of Brookhaven. The Bolt? Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. Bolt. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, citizen. I wonder who that guy really is. Well, 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 if it isn't my worthless son, where have you been? Oh, I'm um, sorry I'm late, Mom. Sorry doesn't cut it, okay? Did you know you didn't do the dishes this morning? The kitchen's a mess! I know, I'm sorry, I was running a little late to school. I was gonna do them when I got home. Well, why is it taking you so long? School got out an hour ago, and the dishes are still in the sink. Well, I had to stay after school for my chess club. We had a meeting, and it was really important. Chess club? You? <laughs> I know you're lying, because you're a loser at school and you don't have any friends. Mom, I'm really, really sorry. I'll do the dishes right now. You know what? Forget it. I'll do the dishes myself. You know what? You're grounded. Go upstairs and don't come back down. Mom, no, please. You are not leaving this house unless it's to go to school. And that's it. No after school activities. Okay, fine. Whatever you say, Mom. Yeah, it is whatever I say. Go up to your room. Oh 
Oh no, this is the worst thing that could happen to me. I'm grounded completely and I can't go anywhere except for going to school? Who's gonna keep the streets of Brookhaven safe? There's a lot of crime going on lately and it's been my job as the bolt to save people. What am I gonna do? Oh, I gotta figure something out. Hey loser, I gotta talk to you. Oh right, what do you want Nathan? You come to pick on me because I've got glasses and braces again? Oh, I wasn't thinking about that, but yeah, actually I will. <laughs> You're a stupid idiot and your glasses are gross. And braces? Puh, what a nerd. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come and tell you that I'm dating Rosemary now. What? No way. There's no way Rosemary would date someone like you. Oh, what? The prettiest girl in school won't date the most handsome and popular boy in town. <laughs> yeah, right. We were made for each other, loser. And if I ever catch you talking to my girlfriend, I'm gonna roast you like a marshmallow. What? Whatever. I can't believe Rosemary's dating Nathan. He's such a jerk and she's so nice. It doesn't make sense. It's just my luck. Oh man, I gotta get home fast or else mom's gonna be so mad at me. Oh my gosh, no! No! The bank is on fire! What happened? Is anybody in there? Do you need help? Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I can go and check it out, but I'm gonna be late. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. Was that Nathan? Is he some kind of super villain? How did this even happen? How did he get superpowers? Oh my gosh, I gotta find a way to stop him before he causes more problems. This is crazy! Come on, Rosemary, pick up the phone. Come on, Rosemary, where are you? Hello, this is Rosemary. Rosemary, hey, hey, it's Max. Oh, hey, Max, what's going on? Well, there's something I need to tell you. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad you called, because I actually have a question for you. You do? Um, okay, well, why don't why don't you go first? Okay, well, actually... Ha ha ha! There you are! Oh my gosh, who are you? I'm the Dark Blaze. <laughs> Rosemary, what's going on? Is everything okay? You're coming with me, Rosemary. No, leave me alone! Get out of my house! <laughs> yeah, you ain't got an option here. You're coming with me. Rosemary! Rosemary, are you still there? Oh man, it sounds like I'm too late. I've gotta go save Rosemary. It's time to bolt! Come on, Rosemary, I don't understand. Why won't you go out with me? It's not that simple, Nathan. Uh, yeah, it is, actually. I'm super cool, I'm a handsome guy, and I've got superpowers now. I'm a superhero. Why wouldn't you want to date me? Nathan, you're not a superhero. You're a super villain. You're using your powers for evil, and I don't respect it. I like someone else anyways. Oh yeah, really? Who could hold a candle to the dark blaze, huh? Who is this guy? Not that it's any of your business, but I like Max. What? That stupid loser? You're kidding. You like him over me? Yeah, because he's actually a good guy. Yeah, well, you better get over him real quick, because I'm going to go destroy that loser. What? What are you talking about? Well, I got these superpowers now, so it'll be easy to take care of them. <laughs> and then you'll go out with me. Nathan, please, don't hurt Max. Leave him alone. Oh, Rosemary, don't you worry, all right? I'm only going to hit Max with my fist about 10,000 times. Don't worry about it. Maybe throw a couple fireballs at him. Nathan, stop. You're talking crazy. Please, don't hurt Max. Too little, too late. Hey, you! Stop right there! You need to leave Rosemary alone! Oh, really? Who are you, loser? And how are you gonna stop the dark blaze, huh? I know it's you, Nathan! Oh, yeah? And I know that's you, Max. What? How could you tell it was me? <laughs> what? You think I'm stupid? Come on! It's obviously you! With that dumb voice and everything! You think you're what? Some kind of superhero? Yeah! I am a superhero! I'm the Bolt! <laughs> the Bolt? Oh my gosh! You are so dumb! Whatever, Nathan! This ends right here, right now! <laughs> yeah, you're right! It does end right here and right now! You don't deserve Rosemary! I do! She's gonna be my girlfriend! Oh yeah? I beg to differ! Ha! You can beg to differ all you want, but that's not gonna stop this fireball! Take this! Ow! What happened? Where's my fire? Well, I'm glad that ended quickly. <laughs> that's it, Nathan. You're going to jail for a long, long time. Well, I'm glad Rosemary is safe and Nathan's in jail now. That's all thanks to the bolt, not me. I'm kind of bummed out. 
I don't think she'll ever know that it was really me that saved her, but I've got to keep it a secret. No one can know I'm the Bolt. Hey, Max. Rosemary, I heard what happened with that crazy supervillain guy. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Thanks for asking. I'm fine. It was all really scary, but luckily, the Bolt saved me. Yeah, thank goodness for him, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Max, I was wondering, would you maybe want to, I don't know, grab some ice cream after school and hang out? Am I dreaming? <laughs> You're not dreaming. This is reality. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to go get ice cream with you. Okay, great. Hey, um, would you mind walking me to class? Somehow I just feel safer around you. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, of course. Absolutely. I'd be honored to. Thanks. So, how'd you do on that history test? I'm not sure I did so hot. <laughs> Me either. I think I'm really bad at history. I can't believe I just got a promotion. I can't wait to tell Monica. She's gonna be so happy for me. I've been working really hard, you know? And I'm just glad that I finally got it. I really deserve it. Hey Dave, I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, hey Jim. Uh, what's wrong? You stole my promotion! That's what's wrong! No, I earned that promotion fair and square. I worked a bunch of extra hours, and so the boss chose me for the promotion. Well, I deserve it. I've been here way longer than you. And what, you don't think I work hard? I think you work hard, but you also sometimes show up late, and, you know, you've been slacking off a little bit. What did you just say to me? Hey man, I don't mean any offense, I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes you come into work a little late, and the boss has noticed. It's none of your business when I get to work. I've been here long enough and put in my time. I deserved that promotion. No, you didn't. I did, and I got it. Yeah, and you know what else you got? This! No! <laughs> we'll see who gets the promotion now. Ugh, oh, whoa, what happened? I feel so dizzy and weird. Am I in the hospital? What happened? I don't have any memory. I think I was at work, and then I got in an argument with Jim, and I think he pushed me into a vat of chemicals. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised I survived that. I should be dead. I still feel very weird, or maybe it's a sneeze coming on. No, I don't think so. No, wait, actually, yeah, it's a, it's a sneeze. Achoo! Oh my gosh! Am I flying? And am I on fire? What's going on? Oh, I wonder if this guy finally woke up from his- Oh my gosh! Doctor, what's going on here? I don't know! You're- you're on fire! It's- it's blue! Why is it blue? Why are you on fire? I don't know. Uh... Oh my gosh, I gotta call somebody! This is- this is an emergency! No, 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 calm down. I actually feel fine. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt? Dude, you're on fire! You're- you're- you're a freak! No, I'm not a freak. I'm just Dave. No, you're a freak! I- I gotta do something! Uh, maybe I should go. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I cannot believe this! Now that idiot's on the news being honored for saving the day. Pff, makes me sick. Dave thinks he's some cool special guy and he gets everything he wants. Well, I'm gonna put a stop to that. It's time Jim gets a little bit of the spotlight and recognition he deserves. <laughs> yeah, well if these chemicals gave Dave those powers, I bet they can do the same for me. You're not gonna be the only special person in Brookhaven, Dave. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I can feel the power coursing through my body. This is incredible. These powers are way cooler than Dave's. Stupid idiot. <laughs> no one's gonna be able to stop me. I'm gonna be the greatest superhero of all time. And Brookhaven's gonna love me! <laughs> well, now that I have a superhero outfit, I gotta come up with a name. What about Blue Comet? Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. I guess I'm an actual superhero now. Maybe this will be great after all. Hey, there's a criminal right there. When are these guys gonna learn? 
Stop right there, Robert. It's time to go to jail. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Jim, is that you? Jim is gone. I'm Cosmic Shade now. <laughs> and you're no match for me. Jim, I know that's you. What's going on? You thought you were going to be the only special person in town. Well, think again. I'm here to put an end to you, Dave. Well, I'm not Dave. I'm Blue Comet now. And I'd like to see you try. Take this. <laughs> we really got to find a cheaper way to dump these chemicals, you know? Maybe we can dump them somewhere no one will be able to use them. You're not doing anything with those chemicals. Hey, uh, uh wh what's your name? Y didn't you used to work here or something? I'm Cosmic Shade. No, 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 it was like, uh, like Tim or, or Jerry or something like that, right? Yeah, you used to work here. Why is your voice so silly now? Because I was gifted with some awesome powers. Oh, isn't that nice, uh, cool. Yeah, well, uh, you can't be here, you know? You got fired, and, uh, we took your key card away, so you kinda gotta get out of here. <laughs> that's what you think. I'm taking over. This waste plant is now mine, and I'm gonna be the manager. You're the one that's fired. Yeah, well, see, I don't think that's how it works, actually, so... Unfortunately, you're just gonna have to get out of here, otherwise I'm gonna have to call the police, you know, make a whole big deal out of it. So, uh, if you could just leave on your own, that would- that would be really great. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that new villain has really been causing a lot of chaos. Oh wait, no! He's been all over the news! What is going on? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I guess there's just some sort of new supervillain causing chaos. Well, it's absolutely crazy. He must be stopped. But I did hear when I was getting my nails done that there was some other person in town with superpowers as well. I wonder what he's about. I, I wonder if they work together. No, no, they definitely don't work together. I think that new superhero seems like a nice guy. He's probably trying to defeat the new villain. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It just all sounds like a weird comic book that we're living in. But hey, look, Dave, we need to talk. Uh, yeah, what's up? You've been disappearing a lot. You always seem to be running off somewhere with some kind of excuse. Is everything okay? Have I done something wrong? I just never see you anymore. Yeah, I've just been working a lot of extra hours at the waste plant. Chuck just keeps calling me in all the time, you know, so I gotta go in. I just got this new promotion, so... You know how it is. Yeah, I guess so. There you are. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh, you're that super villain from TV. <laughs> the name is Cosmic Shade. Leave us alone. Why would you hurt my boyfriend like that? You're coming with me. <laughs> no! Good evening, Brookhaven. We've got a breaking story for you. It appears there's a new supervillain in town calling themselves Cosmic Shade. Cosmic Shade has been causing utter mayhem over the past couple of weeks. The mayor of Brookhaven is urging everybody to stay inside, and if you see Cosmic Shade, do not approach him. Just stay hidden, stay quiet, and call the police. Cosmic Shade is extremely dangerous, and we must be sure that we put a stop to him. You're right. I am dangerous. <laughs> uh, Cos Cosmic Shade is here in the, in the studio with us today. Um, what are you doing here, Cosmic Shade? I just have a message for the people of Brookhaven. <laughs> you mind if I give them a quick little message? Of course, go right ahead. Thank you, and make sure you get my good side. <laughs> people of Brookhaven. You are all now under my control. <laughs> You're gonna listen to me. I'm in charge now. And nobody is gonna stop me. Not even that stupid sad excuse for a hero you guys call Blue Comet. 
Pathetic. <laughs> no one's gonna stop me. Uh, well, actually, I am going to, because I am going to call the police right now, so... You know what? I actually have another message for Brookhaven. If you disobey me, you get this. Oh! Oh! oh man, what happened? I can't believe I let Cosmic Shade get the jump on me. Oh, wow, the house is completely destroyed. Wait, where's Monica? Oh my gosh, I have to find her. I hope she's okay. What? Who's this? Uh, hello? Hello, Dave. <laughs> or should I say Blue Comet? Such a stupid name. More stupid than Cosmic Shade? I don't think so. Well, clearly you haven't changed your attitude. I just wanted to call and let you know a little something. I've got your girlfriend. <laughs> no, Monica, don't hurt her. I promise I won't hurt her at all, but there's something you gotta do for me. What do you want? Well, the only way you can save your girlfriend is to come back to the factory and jump into the vat of chemicals. Why would I do that? If you go back in those chemicals, you'll lose your powers. You'll be normal again. <laughs> no more blue comet. Okay, fine. Just don't hurt Monica. Otherwise, you'll regret it. Meet me back at the factory in an hour, and you can get your precious girlfriend back. <laughs> All right, you've got a deal. Help, please. Somebody help me. Shut up. No one's coming to help you, except for Blue Comet. <laughs> Why do you want to hurt him so much? Just leave him alone and let me go! Sorry, I'm not really in the mood to have people tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> I'm in charge now and nobody's gonna stop me. Alright, that's enough, Cosmic Shade. I'm here, okay? Now you gotta let her go. About time you showed up, Blue Comet. <laughs> Now jump in the chemicals. No, I'll jump in the chemicals after you let her go. Oh, so you think you're telling me what to do, huh? You think that's how this works? That's not how this works. That is what we agreed on. Why are you doing this? Like, what do you want from all of this? It all started when you got that promotion over me. All of this is because of the promotion? Are you serious? Come on, man, you're way better than this. You're right, I am better than this, and I'm better than you. I deserved that promotion. I worked so hard and don't get any recognition from anybody until now. Now I've got these powers and everybody's gonna recognize me and everyone's gonna do what I say. Yeah, because they're afraid of you. Is that really what you want? <laughs> that is what I want, and I want the world now. The world is gonna belong to me. Not if I have anything to do with it. Take this! What? No! Ow! Monica, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I I'm fine. Thank you for saving me, Blue Comet. Of course, not a problem. Wait a minute, you sound really familiar. Who really are you? Well, Monica, it's actually me. It's Dave. I'm a superhero now. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense. With you running off all the time, you were saving the day. And now, you've saved me. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I just wanted to keep you safe. But obviously that didn't work. Yeah, but you stopped Cosmic Shade. And that did save me. You did it, Dave. But why didn't you tell me sooner? Why didn't you tell me what happened? I thought maybe you'd be scared of me. Dave, I'd never be scared of you. I love you. I love you too. Now come on, let's go home. <laughs>